Doosh. How's it everybody? Down here, the south side of Anaiho Omalu. I'm gonna try launch out some uh, cut bait, some shrimp. It's low tide in about like 15, 20 minutes. Six o'clock in the evening. Jerry's got a brand new reel he's gonna try out. It's finally got a legit dunk there. Stoked. I'm gonna try and christen it and actually hook up on something. Cross fingers, don't jinx. Did you just jinx it? Bro? No, I didn't. I crossed my fingers. <laughs> I got some wood here, I'll knock on that. There you go, you're safe. Looks like it's gonna be a little night fishing session. We were thinking of coming this morning, but that did not happen in, in the least. So we're like, all right, well the low tide is actually like right at sunset, which could be pretty perfect. So we're gonna try that instead. Hoping to hook up on maybe an eel if we're lucky. Low tide seems to be a little bit better action for those guys. Watch out, this stuff is super slippery. The tide is super low. This is weird, the only spot the swell's hitting is right here. Maybe we should go back to that first spot. Either go back to the first spot or go all the way to that little enclosed bay. Yeah, I'm down to mission. All right, all the way, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna start fishing right at like, the beginning of darkness. So we can fish right here in this little baby cove or go over to the rocks. You're doing the rocks, but... You wanna go to the rocks? Yeah. We made it. Get everything ready to go and cast. <laughs> okay, got the first dunk all set up. I'm casting my lightweight one kind of into this sandy area. I'm gonna blast my heavier weight one out that way. And I'm gonna send shrimp into here and then uh, Opelu out there. Start feeling out what area works over here. Begin targeting that zone. Snap my barb down, just in case I catch something I want to release. Grab my shrimp, send them out. Okay, first cast going out. All right. I'm getting bites. Ay, ay, ay. Hurry up. Get to the rod. All right, let's see here. Oh, it already came off. What a bummer. Oh, robbed already. Uh, try again. More bait. All right, round two. Out there. Oh, we got a whack ready. Oh, we're on. I'm on something, dude. Fighting okay, a little something, probably a little to ow. Yup, a nice to owl, dude. Oh, look at that guy. That's a solid to owl. Action. Ow. Ah, first fish of the night. A little invasive to owl, black fin snapper. Perfect size, dog. Gonna give him a quick make style doming and then. Where's your knife at, bro? What'd you do, shrimp? Shrimp, bro. Just cast over by me with your other rod. 
It was like instant whack. One fish in the bucket. I'm just gonna dedicate to my light one, I think. Yeah, you can use my bell, and I'll just use this one light one. Just keep your big one out, hoping for the dozer strike. Yeah. All right, guys, one fish in the bucket. Start casting again. See what else we can find. I'm not even gonna put this one in the pole holder right now. I'm just gonna hold it in based on how fast that other one hit. Tragic, I just got dangled. It felt like something nibbled it and then immediately dove into a rock. Oh yeah, it's super tight too. Oh, everything's gone, sick. Ah, back to the drawing board. Hurt that. I'm gonna send out my big boy dunk. Blast that out there. Okay, I set my dunk up. I have a big piece of Opello on this one. I'm just gonna send this out into this big old, slightly deeper area. Put a bell on it, let it cruise out there. All right, that didn't go as far as I hoped, but you know, that's okay. We're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. I do not know if anything whacked at. Probably not after I scare it with my light. I feel tension on it. There's something going on to it. I think a little fish got stuck on it. Yeah, there's something small stuck to it. I'm gonna have to pop it off. There we go. What is that, nothing, really? Uh, it's just something small, just nomming it. Eating it slowly. Dang it. Lost everything. Oh, I lost my lead. <sighs> Bugger. All right, guys, I'm changing up my methodology. I'm going with a glow grub to see if I can't find any mapaches out here. Might be a good area for some pachi action. Start casting off this rock. Oh, I just dangled myself already. Sick. It's like a code three dangle too. Caught one. Oh yeah, I got a little nice one right there, dude. Oh, it's a fat pocky. They're right here biting, dog. Throw a glow grub onto that and drag it across the top. Pocky posh, that's a good one. It's a pretty nice pocky, dude. That's long. Shock of size right there. Yee! This first cast, dog. Really? Yep. Keeping them? Yeah. Gonna eat them? Thank you, Pachi. All right, second cast, dude. Oh, how's that a veil veil? That's a solid size of veil veil, dude. Yeah, it's all right, it's like a nice medium one, though. But still nice. Because I found a Oh, this veil veil's going crazy. Okay, okay. I can't grab you, you're so pokey. Oh, he just knocked himself out. 
You want some of the veo tossed in there? Yeah. We'll just do a cook. Nice, dude. That'll be delicious, little guy right there. Let's do a pan fry. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm getting a lot of wax, dude. Yeah, all over, dude. I'm just casting in every direction and I keep getting wax like all over the place. What you got on there, Grub? Yeah. Nice, super slow retrieval now and then. You put shrimp on there if that doesn't work, but that should work. I lost my hook. Got stuck in a rock. Gonna go put another one on. Jared caught his first fish of the night. Was it Pachi? Yeah. Oh, it's a good sized one too. Little hand sized pan fryer. Not a monster, but prime to grind. Yeah, I just threw a new lead onto my dunk and I casted it out one last time just to try and sample. See if anything wants to bite the shrimp. I got a fish on. I got, oh, I just ripped him over the top of that. Another to'ao. Oh, it's a to'ape. To'ape boy! Another to'ape. Whoa, he's losing it. We just cleaned the fish a little bit, got all the scales off. We're gonna flay them back at home. And we are out of here. Got about, what, five fish? Oh, yeah. Sweet. I think those are my slippers, and yours are right above you. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Back to home, and then catch and cook. Okay, we won speed at cleaning up everything, and uh, Jared filleted all the fish pretty nicely right here. Good job, Jared. So we're just spicing the heck out of it right now. We're gonna basically make blackened fish. The Cajun style. Cajun style fish is what Jared is calling it. What do we put in there? Um, chili pepper, chili powder, garlic, granulated garlic, garlic. And pepper. Onion, pepper, salt, grass. Sweet. Oh yeah, grass, nice, dude. That's how. Uh, extra flavoring. Uh, it's my secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is a little I bit of green I grass. Steal grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another blade. The pines on there. Do you need to cut those center lines out? Nah, it'll be fine. Let's we'll scorch them. Yeah. You cut the center lines out? Sometimes, yeah. I like to do that. Why does it taste? You can cut those bones out. It's less um, bones. It's a really small little fine slit right there. You just cut out yeah. the bloodline. I took a quick power shower and then Jared's already like halfway done. These smell super good. Mmm. Oh, we could have just gone po' boy style again, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that stuff. Nice. Alright, last guy's going in. You're going in. Smell really good. You just burn yourself? <laughs> Looks like you don't like put your hand in the oil. That's blackened all right, dude. A couple little scales trapped in there. Let's pick those up. We're getting everything all oily. All right, almost done with these ones now. Jared's squeezing all the good juice out. Yeah, testing firmly. Little baby ones done. Like, boom, like let there be light, right, I'd say. It's all the pepper. Yeah, the pepper got smoked. Now you can use that pepper oil for like putting on your rice. I know. <laughs> pepper oil. Chili pepper oil. Pow Hanas. This is just a quick one and done style, dude. We like pounded all of our sides yeah. waiting for this. Oh no, am I just falling apart, bro? Waiting for this to cook. Oh, it looks really good though. Little stripper right there. Oh, the strip off. Oh. 
Mm. It's actually pretty good. A little salty. Yeah. It's a really small little fine slit right there. You just cut out yeah. the bloodline. What good? So they put on um, sandwiches. Mm hmm. How's it, everybody? Next day here, we're actually gonna make some spaghetti and then we're turning the rest of those fish into some uh, little po' boy sandwiches. Got some of that there, and then the rest of that bread is gonna be garlic bread for the spaghetti. Yee! Jared wanted to try making the sauce from scratch, so we're in the process. It smells pretty good already, yeah. How are you gonna get that tomato paste in there? Shake them. Everybody doesn't know how to use a spoon. Yeah, one spoon. Spoon. Just concentrated tomatoes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tomato pastas. All right, we got this boiling hard. It smells really good. Those herbs are like releasing all their flavor. We got fresh herbs for that. Jared's making his delicious sandwich. Is that the final of all the good stuff? Yeah. Good. So just enough for one. Yeah. Did you find the uh, the kind? Boy. The tartar sauce. Mm. Oh, the ultimate in fish sandwich. Mpachi, aveo veo, taape, bread, tartar sauce. Hamakua tomatoes, Hamakua greens. Hamakua greens. I better turn this down a little bit. It's getting pretty yeah. ferocious. Oh, it's gonna yeah, boil, double boil over. I have to clean all this. <laughs> no, I'm gonna boil over. Put it upside down. I didn't realize it's on now. Oh, nice. Perfect. Easier to hold. Yep. Yeah, let's go sample these outside real quick. <laughs> While our, our food gets cooked. Simple but efficient. <laughs> Do you try it? No, I yeah. don't. Alright. It's macked on the um, tomatoes. Ooh. The tomatoes. Wow. Oh. oh! You got one bone. That bone. <laughs> Still a little salty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got a piece that's like 20% bones right here. Yeah, that's why I cut that side and give it to you. Sick. Mmm, that's bone. All bone in that bite. <laughs> One bite. Okay, guys, last bite. Let's go. Mm. Oh, wait, one more bite. One more last bite. Grand. Last, last bite. Ah. Mm. Time for some spaghetti. All right, time for Jared's secret family recipe spaghetti. <laughs> we just kind of made it on the fly, but it looks really good. I'm gonna take like all day to cook her, her sauce, like hours. Should use like mm. pork bones and beef bones. Right? Wow. Bro, it's good. Yeah. Mm. Better than one can. Yeah, it's better than a can. The spice made it like way more high grade. High grade spice. <sighs> well, dude, that was good. Oh, clean plate club. Yeah, clean plate club. I give that a solid ranking on homemade style sauce. It's actually substantially better than the normal one. All right, everybody. Quick and easy episode. Thanks for watching. Till the next one. Do 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 do.